<laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? Common denominator. Um, wanted to talk really quickly about um, Drake, this Drake situation with the uh, blackface and the outrage, the the fake outrage. Well, it's not fake, but what I, I want to show you guys something. What I want to do is I want to show you that I want to show you that um, look at how outraged people can be about a biracial person whose black father is very I mean he's all over the media I mean he's getting just as much attention as almost as much attention as Drake is I mean the paparazzi follows him TMZ is following him he loves it I mean he's all in the spotlight but what I'm uh, what I want to point out is Drake did something that was considered offensive and as you know in black culture we consider biracial people black <laughs> which is stupid um, and uh, if you want to learn more about that if you want to hear my discussion on that I have some videos on that in the black vortex series it doesn't make any sense because a lot of these people aren't even they're not even 50 percent black they're not even 50 percent African and then when you start getting down into the 25% range, you can't even see the African anymore. A lot of these people, a lot of Hispanics, especially Hispanics from the Caribbean, are somewhere in the 20s. And you can't see African blood. You can't see it in their faces sometimes. They're just a mix of things. They're just a whole new race. You gotta let them go. Okay? Um, anyway, uh, check out the Black Vortex series. Uh, there's one on on race, on uh, mixed race people. But people are so offended that Drake's father did um, blackface. They're so offended that he did blackface. Not Drake's father, but Drake did blackface. But there's no outrage for the N-word. Now, let me point this out. Blackface and the n-word come from the same group of racist terrorists okay think about that blackface and the n-word come from the same group of racist terrorists <laughs> the same terrorists that would call you the n-word or the same terrorists who would entertain themselves with blackface on the weekends and entertain others with blackface. But there's selective outrage when it comes to what to be upset about when it comes to the racism. Somehow, with, I don't know, 60, 70% of black people, the N word is cool. And black people have ended up saying the N word more, more than white people. More than the people who, who've even invented it. Because white people use it when they're talking about black people. Which, you know, maybe sometimes. Black people use it when they're talking about people. Black people. This guy. This N-word. It, it doesn't matter. It's everyday conversation. It's, it's more frequent in our conversation. So... <laughs> It's crazy. So we're not upset at the N-word, but we're upset at blackface? They come from the same place. Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts. To me, this is just another example of the hypocrisy, the stupidity, and the slave mentality. I got another video coming on slave mentality. Uh, I'll probably do it right after this one. All right, guys. Common denominator. Peace.